Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of how to set up and perform different exercises. Now, today is very controversial. And what do I mean by that? Well, this exercise is kind of one that isn't super efficient, but personally I enjoy it for a nice workout cool down. It just helps keep some tension on the anterior deltoid as well as small recruitment from the pectoral clavicle head and sternal head. So it's one that I like to use just to get some extra blood flow either for a warm up just to right before I, I go into the main exercise routine or after I get done and I just kind of want to promote recovery and get some more blood flow there to help flush the area. So which exercise am I talking about? Alrighty, so go ahead, pause the video, give it your best guess, and if there's some way I can figure out when you guessed before you've seen the video or the answer, then, you know, I'll think of a prize. I'll think of a prize. Um, Alright, enough time has passed. You could have paused the video. The plate press. This is the controversial exercise, and I don't promote it as a main exercise or anything like that, but I personally and some of my clients and even some other trainers that I've met enjoy this as a warm up or cool down exercise. And let me tell you why. is because through the movement and how to, when you perform it properly, you keep constant tension on the anterior deltoid, the sternal head, and the clavicular head of the pectoral. And so overall, this is a great way to get some blood flow to the area before the main routine or get some blood flow to the area after the workout and promote recovery. So first things first, just to give you a side view of the plate press, it's really simple, it's really easy. You basically have the weight and you push it away from your chest, keep it at the same level and then bring it back in. So let me just give you a couple cues to make sure that you perform these properly if you do it as a warm up or a cool down. Um, it's, it's a fun, quick way just to get the area primed and ready or just promote recovery. So first things first, you want to focus on pushing your hands together. You don't want this to fall while you're performing the exercise because your toes, they're very brittle and you don't want to smash them. It would hurt and you don't want to smash anyone else's toes, nor do you want to drop the equipment on the floor. So first things first is press those hands together and crush that weight. Don't let it, don't let it fall out of your hands and you're good to go. The second cue is at the elbows. Focus on driving your elbows in towards your midline. And this is going to help you really keep tension on your chest and your anterior deltoid. And through the constant tension, you are going to get more blood flow to the area, therefore being efficient for a warm up or cool down. Now, there's not much more for this except a few variations. You can do it while you lay down. You can do it in incline. You can do it while standing up. And of course, each variation does change the exercise just a little bit. If you're laying down, you're going to have a little bit more resistance from gravity in your chest. And if you're standing up, you're going to have a little bit more resistance from gravity on the anterior deltoid because it's going to have to hold your hands up. So. Those are the variations, those are the cues. Again, this is controversial. A lot of people might not agree with me, but I personally have found it very efficient for, well, including it as a quick part of my warm up or a quick part of my cool down. And I've met a few other people who enjoy it that way. It's just not a good main exercise. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you.